Well, it looks a little familiar, but it's also, with one exception, the first Windows Phone 8 device to come to Sprint, and it's also the first Windows Phone we've seen from Samsung in a little while. So let's unbox it. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Ativ S Neo from Samsung for Sprint. Let's see what's in the box. So right off the bat here, folks, I can tell you that Sprint has changed its packaging approach. This is still a 100% recyclable box, as it's called out right here. But as you can see, it is not quite the dingy cardboard uh, packaging of yore. It is still cardboard. Maybe it's a little tough to see on camera, but they've taken the grain out. This is a much more khaki colored, uh, smooth packaging, and it's quite nice. You get the colorful phone image up front there calling out the 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor. We'll talk about that in a second, the HD display, Windows Phone 4G. Of course, covered up the barcodes there and a couple contact bits. Let's see if we can get inside the box. I believe Samsung beat us inside to put a SIM in, but they should be the only people who've been inside beside us. We'll open it up. There's that device front and center looking a whole lot like the Ativ S that we uh, reviewed, wow, back in December, I think. I don't remember, I reviewed it. I really enjoyed the Ativ S, so I was excited to get my hands on this one. We'll uh, take a look at the hardware in just a second. We'll put it aside, see what comes in the box. Should be something a little bit more than the typical power cable here. These are getting started guides, an envelope to send back your old device if you so choose. Sprint big on the green thing, even uh, as it concerns phone recycling. USB cable, power adapter we're used to seeing, probably a one amp version there. No headphones. I was momentarily excited. I don't know why I expected headphones. Maybe because they were included with the 8XT, as I recall. Uh, feels like the battery is in this device. It's a little weighty. Let's see if we can move the mic for a screen protector removal. Well, we've maxed out the gain on the mic and we are ready to pull the screen off. Silence, please. Anyway, back to business on the front side here. This is a slightly bluer device than the uh, the Ativ S, which we reviewed a while back. We'll take that back protector off of there. Now underneath this cover, I'm guessing we're going to find a removable battery, much as was the case on the uh, Progenitor device. Yes, there it is, SIM card under there. And there's our micro SD expansion. Expandable memory, removable battery. Samsung, you are an old, reliable, manufacturer of customizable mobile phones and we appreciate it. Back cover is going to go back on. Power standby key should be on the right here. That's where it is. Two stage camera button. All this feels a whole lot like it did on the Ativ S which shouldn't surprise anyone. Volume rocker on the left. Headphone jack up top with Qualcomm sticker. USB port down below with the microphone there. This is a big I believe a 4.8 inch panel. Probably AMOLED. Let's press and hold to get power on hoping there's some juice in there. This device is powered by the uh, a device, uh, a, a, an SOC in the Snapdragon 400 family. It is an MSM 8930AA, uh, which doesn't seem to differ too much from the standard MSM 8930, but we'll get into that in our comparisons and in a review if we make it. The only thing Samsung is going out of its way to call out with this device uh, in terms of features is the Ative Beam feature, which is a lot like S-Beam. You know, that looks like an LCD. Uh, which is a lot like S-Beam uh, as featured on its Android devices. Welcome to your TVS Neo. There's our Windows Phone startup screen, and we'll just let you have a look at the device here. And during the break, folks, I was able to confirm that this is an LCD panel on the front, not the AMOLED as we saw on the uh, classic Ativ-S. It is a 4.77-inch uh, display at 720p. The battery capacity is 2,000 milliamp hours under the cover there, and the weight is 144 grams, a little heavier than we are used to. So we're going to take a look at this device. As I say, we're going to have either a... Uh, comparison and a review or just a comparison. We will have coverage on this coming up in the days ahead for now. That is your unboxing of the Ativ S Neo for Sprint by Samsung.
As I say, folks, even if we don't get to a full review of the Ativ S Neo, which we might, but we might not, we will at least do a comparison video with the HTC 8 XT so you know what's going on if you're a Windows Phone buyer on Sprint. In the meantime, please drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, follow us on social media so you don't miss future coverage on this phone and every other one we can get our hands on, and make sure and subscribe if you want to see future videos. Leave a comment down below if you have something to say, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.